When was it she not walk? I have seen her rise from her bed, throw her nightgown upon her, unlock her closet, take forth paper, fold it, write upon it, read it, afterwards feel it, and again return to bed. Yet all this while in the most fast sleep. Lo ye, here she comes. This is her very guise, and upon my life, fast asleep. Observe her, stand close. You see, her eyes are open. I, but their sense is shut. Look how she rubs her hand. I have known her continue in this a quarter of an hour. Yet there's a spy. Hark! She spits! I will set down what comes, what comes from her to satisfy my, my remembrance the more strongly. Out, them spy, out, I say. One, two, why then? Tis time to do. Tell us, Murky. Fie, my lord, fie. A soldier and a fear. What we need, what need we? Fear, who knows it? When none can call her power to account. Yet who would have the thought the old man to that has so much blood in him? Do you mark that? The thing of five had a wife. Where is she now? What will these hands near be clean? No more, oh, that my lord. No more, oh, that you mar all with this starting. Go to, go to, you have no what you should not. She has spoke what she should not have. Have that heaven knows what she knows. Here's the smell of blood so. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Oh, oh, oh. This disease is beyond my practice. Wash your hands, put on your nightgown, look not so pale. I tell you yet again, Bing goes buried. He cannot come up on his grave. Even so? To bed, to bed. There's knocking at the gate. Come, 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 come. Give me your hand. What's done cannot be undone. To bed, to bed, to bed. Will she go now to bed? Directly. Foul whisperings are abroad. Unnatural deeds do breed unnatural troubles. Infected minds to their death pillows will discharge their secrets. More needs to the divine than the physician. God, God forgive us all. Look after her. So good night. I think, but then not speak. Good night, good doctor. The English pirates near Little Malcolm, his uncle Seward and the good Macduff. Revenge is burning them. Near Burnham Wood shall we well meet them. That way are they coming. What does the tyrant? Great Densening, he strongly fortifies. Some say he's mad. Others that lesser hate him. To call a valiant fury. Now does he feel his secret murders sticking on his hands. Those he commands move only in command. Nothing in love. Now does he feel his title hang loose about him like a giant's robe upon a dwarfish thief. Well, march we on. Make we our mark to earth burn them. Bring me no more reports. Let them fly all. Till Burnham Wood removed to Densening, I cannot taint with fear. What's the boy Malcolm? Was he not born of woman? The spirits that know all mortal consequences have pronounced me thus. Fear not, Macbeth. No man that's born of woman shall ever have power upon thee. That devil damn thee black, thou green-faced loon. Where got'st thou that goose look? There is ten thousand soldiers, sir. What soldiers, wayface? The English force, so please you. Take thy face hence. Satan. What is your gracious pleasure? What news more? All is confirmed, my lord, which was reported. I'll fight till from my bones my flesh be hacked. Give me mine honor. Hang those that talk of fear. Give me mine armor. How does your patient, doctor? Not so sick, my lord, as she is troubled with thick coming fancies that keep her from her rest. Cure her of that. Canst thou not minister to a mind diseased, pluck from the memory a rooted sorrow, raise out the written troubles of the brain, and with some sweet oblivious antidote, Cleans some the stuffed bosom of that perilous stuff which weighs upon the heart. Therein the patient must minister to himself. Throw physic to the dogs, I'll none of it. I will not be afraid of death in vain, till Burnham Forest come to Dunsinane. Were I from Dunsinane away and clear, profit again should hardly draw me here.
What wood is this before us? The wood of Burnham. Let every soldier hew him down a bow, and bear before him, thereby shall we shadow the numbers of our hosts and make discovery, earn and report of us. It shall be done. The confident tyrant keeps still in Dunsinan. None serve with him but constrained things, whose hearts are absent too. Certain issues strokes must arbitrate, towards with a ch which advance the war. <laughs> no! What is that noise? It's the cry of woman, my good lord. I have almost forgotten to taste of fears. Wherefore was that cry? I, the queen, my lord, is dead! She should have died hereafter. There would have been a time for such a word. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Increasing this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of record is time, and all our yesterdays have lighted fools. Though we did thus see that, out, out, brief candle, life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that stress and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is he heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing, though comest to use thy tongue, thy story quickly. As I did stand my watch upon the hill, I looked toward Vernon, and Anna methought thought they would begin to move. Liar and slave, if thou speaks false, upon the next tree shalt thou hang alive. So famine clings thee, arm, arm and out, a gin to be a weary of the sun, and wish to the state o' the world, and now undone. Ring the alarm bell, blow in, come rock. At last, at least we'll die with harness on our back. Now near enough. Your leafy screens throw down, and show like those you are. Make all our trumpets speak. Give them all breath, those clamorous harbingers of blood and death. What's he that was not born of woman? Such a one am I to fear for none. What is thy name? Don't be afraid to hear it. My name's Macbeth. The devil himself could not pronounce the title, more hateful to mine ear. Thou last born of woman. Tyrant, show thy face, let me find him, fortune, and more I beg not. This way, my lord, the castle is gently rendered. Enter, sir, the castle. Why should I play the woman fall and die of mine own sword? Whilst I see lips, the gashes do better upon them. Turn, hellhound, turn! Of all men else I have avoided thee, but get thee back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. I have no words. My voice is in my sword. Thou bloodier villain than terms can give thee out. I bear a charmed life which must not yield to one of woman born. Spare thy charm and let the angel whom thou still hast served tell thee. Macduff was from his mother's womb and timely ripped. A curse that be that the tongue that tells me so, I'll not fight with thee. Then yield thee, coward. I will not yield to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet. Though Burnham would be come to dust name, and thou oppose being of no woman born. Yet I will try the last, lay on Macduff, and damn be him that first cries hold enough. Hail, king, for so thou art behold, for stands the usurper's cursed head, the time is free. Hail, king of Scotland. Hail, King of Scotland. My thanes and kingsmen, henceforth be earls, the first that ever Scotland in such an honor named. What's more to do, we will perform in measure, time and place. So thanks to all at once and each one, whom we invite to see us crown that scone. <laughs>